Hello, Spanish 2 classes. Um, sad last screencast because this is, of course, our last one of, of, the, uh, of, the, of the class for this year. Um, section 10.3, and there's very little new grammar. We're just going to be looking at one specific irregular verb in the preterite tense, as well as a, a smattering of some new vocabulary as well. So I'll walk you through the process, and if any of you were absent, this is a great way to um, look and see what we missed. And if any of you want to get a, a, a head start on things going into our second to last chapter, this is a great way to do it. Also, a quick note, this is the last, like I said, this is the last screencast, but it isn't our last actual lesson. We will be moving on one more afterwards in this. We're just not doing a screencast for it. So hope this uh, finds you well and that this is um, easy to understand. But if it does generate any questions along the way, send them to me or bring them to class. We'll take care of them, okay? So here we go. Uh, getting started real quick. El chisme is the word for gossip in Espanol. Gossip. And then someone who is chismoso is someone who is gossipy, someone who gossips a lot. And then el chismoso or la chismoso is a gossipy person. So chismoso means gossipy, but el chismoso is like a guy who gossips a lot, and la chismosa is a girl who gossips a lot. Cuéntamelo means is another way of saying tell me, just like the word dime also means tell me. So one is like account for it to me, and this one just literally means tell me. But they both are actually the same meaning, okay? They're synonymous phrases. Estar furioso means uh, to be furious, estar furioso, or to be angry. Fíjate means imagine that. Hacer las pases means to make up, or like to make up with someone. Leí que means I read that. All right, so I read something. Leí que. Obviously, that's a sentence fragment. El metiche or la metiche are both ways of referring to someone as always... Um, on the move, or a busybody is the actual word for that, actually. El metiche is a guy who's a busybody. La metiche, a girl who's a busybody. Las noticias are, is the news. Las noticias. Oye, ha suido de? Have you heard about? Or hey, have you heard about? The verb pelear is another word for to fight. Romper con means to break up with someone. Romper by itself is to break, and romper con is to break with. So it means like to break up with someone. La próxima, te enteraste de? Did you find out about? Te enteraste de? Did you find out about? Obviously another sentence fragment that would be completed afterwards. You'd have to include some sort of verb and action afterwards. Okay. Bueno, no me extrañes. Um, I'm not worried or I'm not surprised. Well, I'm not surprised. De veras means really or is that the truth? Lo dudo means I doubt it. Like it, I doubt. Lo dudo. No lo puedo creer. I can't believe it. Nombre means no way. Incidentally, that's a synonym. Que va down here also means no way. They're both synonymous phrases, just different ways of saying the same thing. Uh, no me digas. You don't say. Not to me, you say, is the literal translation. No puede ser. It can't be. Literally translated, not it can be, or it is able to be. Que va, as we said, means no way. Tu crees? Do you think that, or do you believe that? And then the very last one, yes, okay, means so what? It's just an expression. Yes, okay. It's like, and that what? All right, so, so what? Okay, so though, those are your new vocabulary phrases, and there's really only one piece of grammar that we're looking at here, and it's conjugating the verb tener in the preterite tense, okay? So, here we go, very quickly. Tener en el preterito. So these conjugations don't mean I have, you have, he or she has. Instead, they mean I had, you had, he or she had, we had, you all had, or they had. Again, uh... Conjugations would be yo tuve, tu tuviste, el, ella, usted, tuvo, nosotros tuvimos, vosotros tuvisteis, ellos, ellas y ustedes tuvieron. Y eso es todo. And that is the whole thing. Okay. Um, last opportunity for extra credit will be to write five sentences using the conjugation of tener and some new vocabulary for me. Five sentences, both in English and Spanish on a note card, give them to me on Monday and you'll be good to go. 
okay? Uh, again, thanks for tuning in this year and watching these. Um, I think that it's something that could be very beneficial for you. You can always go back. For those of you who are moving on to Spanish 3, these will remain on our channel all summer long. So if you wish to go back and review a little bit before uh, heading into Spanish 3, this is a great tool for you. It'll be, like I said, it'll be left up all summer. Chao, hasta luego y adios.